President Mohamed Buhari has written to the House of Representatives seeking approval for the supplementary budget of 895 billion naira. The money will go to the funding the purchase of COVID-19 drugs and weapons for the armed forces. Speaker of the House, Femi Bajabiamila, read this at plenary. According to the letter, Nigeria intends to vaccinate 70% of eligible persons before the end of 2022. We have a work cut out for us. Uh, there's so much to do, so it's going to be a heavy load, including the supplementary budget. Two weeks is a very short time, but we must do this work and we must do it thoroughly. I'm now joined by a petroleum engineer with more than 30 years of experience talking about Mr. Alex Neng. Mr. Neng, welcome. Thank you. Thank All right. You. It's good to have you. What is your assessment of the petroleum industry bill in its current state? Okay, you talk. Okay, that's me. Hello, hello. Yes. Okay, you. Okay, hey, Alex. Sorry, uh, Mr. Alex, name. Yeah. Thanks for uh, joining us again to talk about this bill, uh, the Petroleum Industry Bill. I'm asking what your assessment is of this bill in its current state today. Well, it's, uh, it's long overdue because when Lukman was there, we worked with him from the petroleum bearing angle to say there's need for a petroleum uh, industry bill because the industry was like a year, there's still this regulation. It does not create room for stable operations. So you have to lay the ground rules properly, and those who are interested in investment, we know where they are going into. Not when you wake up, you see something today, tomorrow government comes up with something else. So we hold that view, but the whole concept is to make the industry more for people to know what they are doing, and also for the people where the oil is going to be involved in the participation and get fair benefits like you find in other oil producing areas of the world. That is the whole point. What we have in there now, we are hoping that it will reflect that original concept Lutman and all of us have. Okay, so do you see it's in the light of the day? It, must, it has to see the light of the day if we are going to be competitive in the international market. There's no way in the world oil is being produced and the regulation is the EU. No. It can't happen like that. It doesn't create room for stability. If you own a company like uh, other Shell, Chevron, or whatever, how do you make a projection when the laws guiding the place is the EU? Today you wake up with this, tomorrow another thing. Let us have a quick direction, everybody open to everybody. Then those who want to invest know what they are going into. Not when you wake up today, government has decided to do this. Tomorrow government has said so we don't we things are not done like that. We cannot afford to do yo yo. This is twenty twenty one. We have been doing this yo yo for years. So we've got to get out of it in one form or the other. Are you sure we can get out of it, considering what we now call, refer to as the Nigerian factor? I mean, there are many things that have been in place in this regard, and uh, many government agencies that have been in place over the years whose duties uh, it's been to make sure that the situation did not deteriorate to what it is today. Uh, we're still where we are. Do you see any change in the future, even with this bill coming through? Well, those who are, those who are running... Those who are running this country, if they have any common sense, they should know that this is a must. Because there are too many, too many obstacles on our way in the country right now. And this very one is something that is within the reach of the government to solve. But if they don't solve it, then they have themselves to blame because you are talking of foreign investment. Who is going to come here and invest? If the rules of the game is not well defined. And that's why you end up with all this corruption and all this. 
Today you tell this company will do this. Tomorrow you tell the other company will do that. So there is no straight rule. It's a yo-yo. So they have to just make sure we have a document that gives full direction as to well how this industry is run. Don't you wake up today, government is doing this tomorrow, government is doing that. If you are a businessman, how do you, how do you program yourself? It's not, it's not fun. And that's why you have all these uh, inherent uh, corruption and everything. Because they are using a yo-yo approach to run the government and everything. So you, you, you have to end up with tribally and all these months. Let's play the PIB and let everybody try it. As time goes on, we amend it. But we need a law, a guiding law, some guiding law to run this industry. And for the investors, those of them who have been killed without uh, uh, fixed uh, laws, is just a gamble. Well, thank you, Mr. Alex Nain. It's been uh, very interesting having your thoughts on this very interesting issue. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.